My name is Sarah Alali. Um, I graduated from Manchester University with a maths degree two years ago. Uh, since then I went travelling in my first year, went to Africa for a bit and volunteered and worked with children. And then um, I came back and by this point I've decided education is where I want to be. I want to work with young people, um, even throughout university. Um, that's pretty much where my direction... I didn't want to be a teacher. It wasn't what I'd had planned for myself, but I just went into different education routes. When I came back from travelling, I ended up going into... I worked at a science centre, I did some tutoring, I worked at Mad Science. So I just kept being drawn towards young people and education and decided this was what I wanted to do. Um, I'm currently doing the skit at Rushy Mead in Leicester and I'm loving it. Um, I'm working in a school now that I'm really enjoying that's like made me realise this is the right path for me. I've learned I'm definitely in the right career path. Um, I think I initially wanted to do something like banking or something and now I'm just like, no. <laughs> um, I love working with the children. I love, um, I love working with the colleagues. I love like learning from different people because I'm like maths is obviously quite simple to me but actually I've learned so much more about maths and it's just like made me realize that I actually do love it it's not so you know I learn more about it and where things come from and how to explain things and it it just makes me enjoy it more and more but I'm also starting to learn a lot about different people um, and different ways to deal with people and obviously it's not an easy job and I'm also starting to appreciate what teachers go through because you never really think of it and then you're there and you're like the amount of thought that goes into every move they make is like loads. When I um, got my uh, play, uh, training place they said to me we think you have the potential to apply for this and get it, we think you'd have, you're, you could be a scholar and I was a bit like oh, I don't know <laughs> and I was like yeah go for it so I looked at the application round I was like oh my god this is difficult and then I was like well they've seen something in me so just give it a go um, I couldn't initially do the questions, but I um, was on an enhancement course and through that course I was studying at the same time and I managed to get the questions. I did the enhancement course at Nottingham Trent. I do have a maths degree, but I did my um, studying abroad initially, so I wasn't, um, in, didn't, wasn't in England for my school education, so they just wanted me to do it to make sure I've covered all the same material. Um, and I had, so I ended up like going over A-level things and stuff, but it was really, really interesting because it was a brilliant start to this course you already start to think about being the student again and what the students are learning and also university's material is so different from like GCSE material it's really good to start thinking about GCSE material again so I found it really interesting but I didn't think I had a chance and when I got accepted I couldn't believe it I literally couldn't believe it it just made me feel so good about myself it really gave me that boost that you are in the right career and there are people that believe in you and think that you're going to do great at this and then I think like in any in any career but teaching is not excluded in that connections um, and social networks play a huge role and just like simple conversations here and there with people that are on the same path with you it's just so beneficial and just makes you go oh you know they're going through the exact same thing and there's always someone I can talk to but then obviously the people that are like that are sponsoring us are also like you know they're, they're in the industry and they know what they're doing they have these years of experience and the fact that you can learn from them and their events held by them and you're having conversations with them that's just like you know you can't get that <laughs> anywhere that's a really like invaluable experience just go for it don't underestimate yourself don't underestimate your abilities um, you, you don't know what they're looking for I thought that you know I thought that it maybe had to be like you know first and stoop super brainy but that's you don't you don't know what people are looking for and if you think you have the potential to be a good teacher somebody else is going to see that in you